Hello everyone. So since I have made my recently announced return to the internet, um, and oh, there's another sound, this is strange. So after I announced that I got back, um, I thought I would take this opportunity to also make a video to talk about why a lot of my content shifted. I mean, I've, I've never been a consistent person. I don't know what I want to do with this channel yet, but we're gonna, we're gonna find a consistent thread eventually. Like, it's just my personality right now and my interests are all over the place. So this is a variety show, basically, is what this is. Um, so I hope you enjoy that. Thank you again for subscribing me. It, it, it really means the world to me that makes me feel good. I really appreciate all of you. It's, it blows my mind that people want to subscribe to me for some reason. Like, I really feel like I'm not contributing that much to society, but thanks! So, why my content started shifting. Um, for those of you who have been with me since the beginning of this whole adventure, you know that I started out as a witchcraft blogger and YouTuber. And that was what I thought that I wanted to do. Um, I was doing my thesis on it. Everything was going great. I was super passionate about it, right? Because witchcraft and spirituality got me out of a really difficult time in my life. And so at that point, I didn't really have a lot of other interests because I, due to things that happened to me in my life, I kind of had to relearn what made me happy. I had to relearn all of my interests. And so witchcraft was like, the one thing that I had that made me really exuberantly happy. I hadn't gotten back into Pokemon yet for a variety of reasons. I hadn't um, reconnected with a lot of that stuff and I was kind of building myself back up from the ground up. So witchcraft was the only thing that I had. Um, I had also really kind of always for a really long time wanted to be a spiritual resource kind of person. I've always been passionate about religion. I think it's a really interesting topic, spirituality, all of that. When I was little, I wanted to be a priest. My thesis kind of digs into that um, because I think that religion and spirituality play a really important role in society in giving people hope and letting people make meaning in their lives. Um, but I also think that people have a tendency to use it as a weapon. And because of that, I wanted to cultivate, you know, positive spaces and give people good advice. And I wanted to be like a, an example of, of good use of Christianity and spirituality and witchcraft and all of those things in the world. And I was doing my thesis on it and I think I was basically using my channel to more just vlog and get all of the thoughts coherent in my head. Um, if you notice one of the, the videos that I still have up is about like is witchcraft re real and it's just basically a 20 minute rant of me thinking my thoughts and it's really kind of like circular because I don't have it all worked out yet and I say the same like thing like 27 times um but it was it was me like working out the cogs in my grad school brain with all of this stuff that I had absorbed and learned and needed to get in my brain and out and I used my channel as a place to navigate that and share it with you guys um, because again I also my blog on tumblr that got like I wouldn't say I'm tumblr famous but I have um, like I have a following on there I have a lot of people that I talk to um, so I was a witchcraft blogger so I thought that was that's what my YouTube had to be about um, so I did that for a really long time and did my thesis and I've said this like three million times on this channel but I got really tired of talking about it um, I'm still interested in it, like, artistically and as a research topic, and eventually I think I'm gonna start getting back into all of that, but grad school just wiped me out so much and I'm still recovering from it, and I really just need to take time to enjoy things again. Um, that's been a, a baby step process, and my thesis was for me a lot about healing. Um, because I was recover, like I used witchcraft to recover from all of these things. And so my thesis kind of talks about like healing from, um, healing from trauma, healing from these negative experiences. And that's what it did for me. But now that I have come to a place where I feel like I've done a lot of work healing, I'm starting to enjoy the silly things in life again. And so that's why my channel has kind of gone in all these weird different directions. Um, that's also like, again, my Reese videos were born out of me in this place of 
crazed desperation in grad school where I was stressed out. I was like in the thick of writing, like the writing portion of my thesis. And I just basically had a mental break and I was like, I need to do something that is just for me, that is just for shits, that's just fun and silly. And I had always wanted to make a video as Reese and this idea just came to me and I had wanted to do it. And so I did it and it got really popular and people really like it. And I think that's really cool. And I think that my D&D ASMR video, the first one kind of getting bigger than the rest of my videos on my channel made me realize like the, the value of having fun and the value of just kind of doing what you want. And so that was a really positive. And so I think that was a good transition for getting me out of grad school. Um, grad school also kind of broke me in a lot of different ways because you're so stressed out about everything. Like I got to a point where I was like, I'm reading 200 pages a day for things and having to write all of this stuff and I'm dying. I don't, I don't like, I just didn't care about what I wore. I didn't care about what people said. I didn't care about anything else that was going on. Like I was just exhausted and angry at the world because I was doing so much shit that I didn't have time to care about anything else. And I think that that was actually a good thing because I do not care at all. Like I'm going to, I'm going to go out in public and wear whatever the frick I want. I mean, I, I still have social anxiety, don't get me wrong, but in terms of like from caring a ton, which is the way that I used to, and now I have made major strides and it was all grad school. So that's kind of why we've entered weird land. So yeah, um, so that was really good. Uh, the other thing is a little bit more serious um, and I think it's important to talk about because it's kind of just a thing that's changed in my psyche is because I was using the um, channel as a place to think my thoughts, um, which was good. But um, I noticed that just in, in witchcraft blogs in general, um, they have this tendency to attract fundamentalists, as I'm sure you're very aware. And like, clearly it's gonna happen. It's not usually a huge problem. And there are some wonderful witchcraft YouTubers and bloggers out here that I've seen who like don't let that shit stand and who are able to kind of move it away from their channel. And I wanted to do that. I wanted to, you know, not give leverage to these hateful fundamentalist voices. Like, I think that they're absolutely important to call out. Like that was kind of what my thesis is about. That's a topic that I'm passionate about is, you know, like combating um, religious intolerance. I, I, I love that as a research topic. I love it artistically. But in terms of my internet presence, um, the internet is such a huge place to fan flames. And I feel like not a lot of productive conversations have really come out of a lot of internet discussions. And I started to realize this and it mostly came from a place in myself. So when I was younger, I was full of a lot of anger and hurt. And um, what really kind of changed me was I, I think there was a lot of different things that changed me, but I think a good way to describe it is I saw uh, like, so I read something on the internet about um, like new forms of self-harm that are kind of emerging because of the dawn of the internet. And one of them is deliberately seeking out things that make you angry. And I found that I was doing this in a lot of my like fascination with witchcraft and frustration and anger about uh, religious fundamentalism. And so I would go, I, ha I had a video that I took down for this exact reason. Um, I had a video where I, I, I loved, I had a, a weird morbid fascination with these like Christian fundamentalist sites uh, where they talk about all kinds of like wild conspiracy theories and I liked to point and laugh at them. Um, there's a lot of other YouTubers that do that kind of thing where they do deep dives. I'm a fan of some of them. It just wasn't good for my mental health. It, like I just walked around angry all the time. I was not feeling good. It wasn't making me happy. Hey, so in the middle of filming that, uh, my phone cut out because I still am filming on my phone because I don't have a real camera yet. It's on my list of things to get, but I'm still filming on my phone. And uh, my phone cut out and said that I was out of storage. So I spent the last probably 30 minutes trying to delete enough things off of my phone to clear up storage. 
in order to film the rest of this video. So what was I saying? I forget now, it's been so long. Oh, basically, okay, I was pointing and laughing at all of these Christian fundamentalist websites and I thought I was having fun with it and I was but it was more just kind of like a momentary thing and it was just really kind of a for to use a very kind of trite overused term but it was a really toxic environment I mean clearly um and through kind of a lot of different things I started to focus more on positivity it was kind of a personal resolution of mine to be a more positive person to cultivate positive spaces. Um, because of that, I don't typically, I try not to reblog anything like any discourse on Tumblr because it's not productive. I, think, I obviously think it's important to have like political discussions. I just think in a lot of cases they end up um, being really hateful and that's not, a that's not a a thing that i want to be in my presence online it's at least something that i am spreading because i think that there's enough of it in the world already and i think there are enough people who are more talented and are more educated on all these different topics who are better suited to do all of those kind of things than i will be um so i have made a personal resolution to just cultivate a fun place where people can come and not, you know, like forget about all the bad stuff in life for a while, momentarily, because there's so much bad stuff out there already. We don't need it on the internet. We don't need it everywhere on the internet. It's always gonna be on the internet. So I feel like I am right now better suited contributing to society by being silly and goofy because I think we need more laughter and more sunshine. And there are a couple of different kind of influences that I've had in all of this. Um, but honestly, just seeing some of my favorite people that I like to pay attention and to watch um, on YouTube who just have content that is silly and free and doesn't really have anything to do with anything. Um, and that you can, you know, you can be funny without putting other people down. And I think that that is something really important that I have learned recently. Um, so that video in particular, I definitely took down for those reasons. Um, and is also, again, why I kind of moved away from the rest of the witchcraft content because I did find it kind of a magnet for those things. Yeah, and it was just something that I didn't want to deal with on my own channel because I feel like it would have put me in a, like a, a negative headspace. I'm obviously, when people learn that I'm a witch, I am prepared for them to say things, any, any range of things. Most of the feed, you know, most of the reception I have has been positive. However, that's not always the case. And it's something that I've made peace with. And because I did my thesis on it, it's something that I'm going to have to deal with the rest of my life because, yeah, it's, it's out there now, so, um, you know, people will, uh, you know, it's it's on my resume, it's on everything else. People will always be asking me about it, so I have to be prepared for that kind of thing, but I don't have to talk about it all the time, and it doesn't need to define my life. And so that is why it is, it's, it's, the, it's the casual part of what used to be my old username is casual witchcraft. It's that I'm a witch. But it's casual, and I like to keep it that way. I, you know, there's ton, there's tons of you know, like like laid back, like Christian people who you know, like have, a, have like a deep sense of spirituality, but don't really talk about it. That's kind of me, but with witchcraft. So we're keeping it casual. We're keeping it lighthearted. I am a witch. I don't really talk about it anymore. But I, you know, I clearly still like that topic. I'll probably keep the tarot card stuff up. I might talk about, I have the Pokemon tarot deck. I wanna review that. I wanna show it to you guys because it's amazing. It's so beautiful and I spent more money on it than I probably should have. But, um, so I'll keep that kind of stuff up. It might come up in ASMR videos. Uh, this isn't an ASMR channel, but I do them for fun. I don't know if I get more into it and more consistent and I get more subscribers who just want that or there's a demand for it. I may make a separate channel just for ASMR, but it wouldn't be updated very regularly, but I do think it would help kind of keep everything more organized. But I also have half a mind to just not and this just be whatever. If only some of my views come in from ASMR, like that's fine. Everyone can be on her for a variety of different reasons. You know, you are welcome 
so you're always welcome to watch my content. Have I said everything that I wanted to say here? Yeah, I think basically, to, to sum it up, once again, I'm tired of talking about witchcraft. It was kind of attracting a bunch of negative spaces and I made a personal resolution to not fan flames, to not get in, you know, Facebook, pointless Facebook arguments with people, all of that. So I want the places, I want the content that I share and the, the places that I cultivate on the internet to be warm and lighthearted and accepting. And so that is why I moved away from the witchcraft stuff. Not because, you know, like, like witchcraft and spirituality aren't warm and accepting, but because it, it came with all this other baggage for me uh, and I wanted to move away from it. Still artistically interested in it, still academically interested in it, but needed to step back for a little bit. So it might come up in stuff in my IRL life and in my, my doing theater and all of that. But it's not, that's not what I'm doing on the internet right now. So if that, if that, if you subscribe to me for that and you have decided to stick around, thank you so much. It does mean a lot to me. Um, I'm glad you're here to see the rest of this nonsense. So, um, thank you. Uh, I don't really know how to end this video because I never know how to end videos, but thank you guys so much for watching. I hope to have the Let's Play out soon. That was on my agenda to film today until I wasted all this time trying to delete space on my phone so that I could film, but, um, we're gonna get there. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, have a great day. Oh, that's such a, the, the, no, that's, the, how do, how, what do people say? Like, so long, pals. Bye.